Do you understand? Do you understand, Eli? That's more to the point. Do you understand? I drink your water. I drink it up. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 movie endings that left us speechless. What did it cost? Everything. For this list, we'll be looking at shocking, emotional, or unexpected movie endings that left us without words. We will be considering the entire ending as a whole, not just the final scenes themselves. If you want to be speechless after watching these movies, keep in mind that there will be spoilers. What did you make of these endings? Let us know in the comments below. Number 10. Fight Club Often considered one of David Fincher's finest movies, Fight Club has a wicked final act with tons of great twists. Because. Say it. Same person. That's right. Of course, there's the iconic reveal that Tyler Durden is not real and simply a figment of the narrator's imagination. Then there's the shocking development of the narrator killing Tyler by doing something extreme to himself. And finally, there's the brilliant closing shot of the narrator and Marlo watching the buildings explode while the pixies play. It's such an amazing series of events, and it helped Fight Club become the classic that it is today. You could not do this on your own. All the ways you wish you could be, that's me. Number 9. There Will Be Blood The ending of Paul Thomas Anderson's masterpiece works on both a literal and metaphorical level. I assure you, ladies and gentlemen, no matter what the others promise to do, when it comes to the showdown, they won't be there. Taken on the surface, it's a stunning bit of plot development as Daniel Plainview snaps and kills Eli Sunday. But the ending is also fantastic through what it represents. It is rich in thematic detail, and like a piece of great literature, its meaning remains elusive and debatable. I've abandoned my child! I've abandoned my child! I've abandoned my boy! One could argue that it represents America at the turn of the 20th century. Capitalism, Daniel finally emerges victorious and defeats religion, Eli. Viewers can debate what Daniel means when he says, I'm finished. But whatever it illustrates, we know it's not good. Number 8. Buried A great little film from Rodrigo Cortez, Buried stars Ryan Reynolds as Paul Conroy a truck driver who is buried alive in Iraq. Yes, 911. Hello, I'm buried. You have to help me. You have to help me. I can't breathe. Sir? I'm buried in a coffin. Please help. For 90 minutes, we watch Paul desperately try to stay alive and get himself rescued. And for a minute there, we actually think he's going to succeed. But then the movie pulls the rug out from under us in the most disturbing manner possible. Wait a minute, you have to hurry. They double pull, please. Oh, are you close? Are you close? You see, the rescue team that we hear on the other end of the phone is actually at the wrong site, and Paul dies by suffocating in the sand. It's a superb twist that allows us to experience Paul's crushing disappointment. Oh my God! What? I'm so sorry. What is? What is? I'm so sorry. What is? This? It's Mark White. He brought us to Mark White. And when we say crushing disappointment, we mean that literally. Number 7. Uncut Gems Howard Ratner is a giant ball of stress throughout Uncut Gems. He's going through a separation, he's waiting to hear the results of a colonoscopy, Kevin Garnett has his valuable opal, and worst of all, he's in enormous debt to his gangster brother-in-law, Arno. I told you how things were going to go if you didn't start to behave. What? How was I not behaving? Explain to me. I, I'm sorry, I think I was very explicit on the phone. Just like Buried, the movie gives us false hope. Howard's gamble actually pays off, and it briefly looks like everything's going to be okay. I love you. 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 But then, in a matter of seconds, both he and Arno have been killed and his jewelry store has been raided. The fact that Howard actually won the gamble was astonishing enough. 
But then the movie took it one step further and left us speechless with the deaths. When you went, you saw them out. You know, the big be quiet, the big shut up, you know? Number six, Saw. The ending of Saw is just a roller coaster. We're going to be okay. I wouldn't lie to you. Gordon's escape from the filthy bathroom is legendary, and the movie left his fate curiously ambiguous. Furthermore, Adam is left to die in the dark with Zepp's corpse right next to him. But that's nothing compared to the twist of Jigsaw rising from the floor and peeling off his makeup. This franchise would keep trying to top itself in the plot twist department, but there's just no beating the original. Adam's look of horrifying disbelief says it all. We enjoy the sequels, but Saw works perfectly well as a standalone movie with a mesmerizing ending. Most people are so ungrateful to be alive, but not you, not anymore. Number 5. Night of the Living Dead Even by today's standards, Night of the Living Dead is petrifying. Stop it now, I mean it. They're coming to get you, Barbara. Made for peanuts back in the late 60s, it truly was ahead of its time. Not only are the images startling and grotesque, but the ending is infamously dour. Helen, I have to get that gun. Haven't you had enough? Every major character dies, with most perishing in the climactic attack on the house. We're treated to an onslaught of unsettling visuals, like zombie Karen eating her own father and Barbara getting pulled away by Johnny. But that's nothing compared to Ben's demise. After surviving the night, Ben is mistaken for a zombie and killed. There's something there. I heard a noise. All right, Vince. Hit him in the head, right between the eyes. It's a blindsiding and nihilistic ending that still leaves a strong impression after all these years. Number 4. Avengers Infinity War We love us a good superhero movie, but there's no denying that there's a formula to it all. Inevitable. The bad guys never win, and no matter how dire it may look for the heroes, they always come out on top. Well, Infinity War subverted that and said, nah, the bad guy can win for once. You should have gone for the head. Thanos snaps his fingers and kills half of all life in the universe. Not only is that a dismaying concept, we are forced to watch beloved characters disintegrate and die, including Spider-Man, Doctor Strange, and most of the Guardians of the Galaxy. No, 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 Groot, no. We didn't think Marvel had the guts to do it, but they certainly proved us all wrong. Number 3. Requiem for a Dream Directed by Darren Aronofsky, Requiem for a Dream is a depressing viewing experience. When you have Soon. When? Soon. You hold now, right? It's all about the debilitating nature of substance use disorder, and we watch as various characters fall further and further into their bleak situations. It's all right. Don't worry, you're in a hospital. Uh, yeah. Who's that? She'll be sent for. She'll come. There's not a single happy ending here. Sarah is admitted to a psychiatric ward and goes catatonic from the electroshock therapy. Marion becomes a demoralized sex worker. Harry and Tyrone are arrested, with Tyrone suffering abuse in prison and Harry losing his arm. Put your spine with back into it. Come on. It's a relentless assault on our emotions, and it leaves us utterly devastated. Number 2. The Sixth Sense for those who weren't alive at the time, it's hard to imagine the impactful power of the sixth sense. I see dead people. In your dreams? The movie's twist is now iconic, and everybody knows it, even those who have never seen the movie. Throughout the summer and fall of 1999, this twist was all anyone could talk about, and it helped launch this little movie that could to a staggering $670 million box office gross. Why did you leave me? I didn't leave you. The reveal is not only unpredictable, 
but it was terrifically smart as well. It caught everyone by surprise. They only see what they want to see. Well, those who didn't have the movie spoiled for them at least. Malcolm Was Dead the Whole Time is an undeniable piece of movie history. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. The Mist There are gloomy endings and then there's The Mist. What is it, Daddy? Mist? On the lake? We've had mist on the lake before. After running out of gas in the middle of nowhere, David shoots and kills everyone in an act of euthanasia, including his own son. Just a few moments later, the army arrives and dissipates the mist. There are so many details here that are heartbreaking. Billy wakes up just in time to see his father's pointing gun. David is unable to take his own life as the gun is out of bullets. Come on! And in his despair, David sees the woman who left the store earlier, now safe and sound with her children. It's just gut punch after gut punch. And David's screams of utter despair end the movie on a haunting note. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.